Today we're talking onomatopoeia. Onomato what? Onomatopoeia. And it's a big word and it sounds kind of complicated, but it's not. It just means a word that represents a sound. Oh, like woof. Exactly. When the word sounds like what it means. Crack. Yep. You got it, Leo. I'm going to show a whole bunch of different onomatopoeia words, and then I'm going to read a book, and you will definitely get the hang of it. Enjoy. Brutal by Antoinette Portis. All year long, the dogs went woof, the cats went meow. And the birds in the neighborhood went Until one day, out of the blue, little brown bird didn't want to sing the same old song. She didn't know what she wanted to say. Ah! Coo! Chip! But it definitely wasn't peep. Definitely. Crow was not amused. What did you say? Uh, oodle? Uh oh. She meant peep. Little brown birds say peep. Like doves say, cool, so true, we do. So little brown bird said, peep. But six minutes later, something else slipped out. Tiffle, biffle, just a little biffle. Stop, you are little and brown and you say peep. But she just said miffle all of anyone? Dove liked to keep the peace. But not even snack time stopped the silliness from spreading because Cardinal figured out there could be silly red birds too. Ickle, zickle, pickle, trickle. Stop it! Too late. Now Dove was wondering if there could be silly white birds, oobly snoobly, there could. You too, Dove? Try it, Crow. Everyone knows there is no such thing as a silly black crow. Please come back. You too do something. We'll mind our peeps and coo coos. Last cause. But little brown bird knew they wouldn't mind them forever. So she wondered, could crows be silly too? Cloggin, zoggin, itsy boggin. Flublick, dooblick, not a crooblick. Sliggily, quiggly, zinker triggy. Buppy, scruppy, hop hop. Whoopee! Crows could. Flodden, yachts, Flemish, oats, fisk, blurf, 
the neighborhood was never the same. Ink up a dink. Schmoodle. Kerpoodle. Wow, that's a lot of automatic beer.